All right, Lantis, so today we got the announcement that the Special Party Summons, aka Christmas 2023 characters are returning, and in this case, they are returning tomorrow. Now, I do want to preface right from the get-go that it is kind of special to a certain extent that this banner is returning, because for those that haven't already realized just yet, mid-month banners don't get reruns. The last time, in fact, we actually had a seasonal banner that was a mid-month banner return was literally this time last year in April, in which it was the New Year's banner of 2023 getting their first and only rerun. As of late, if you're a mid-month banner, especially a seasonal one, you just don't get a rerun. And that's exactly why a banner like Toshiro and also Momo, the Halloween versions, never return since their initial release. The Swimsuit Mellow characters, which is also a mid-month banner, that never initially returned as its own rerun, but it did get grouped in with the female swimsuit characters, overall making a good value swimsuit banner. We, of course, did recently get Thousand Year Blood War Esno and Biaki's return. That was expected to return, though, given that it was Thousand Year Blood War. But this is potentially a good sign that those banners that maybe you've been waiting for might finally get a rerun. Maybe not though, still too early to tell, but I do think it is a good thing this banner did return because it is a pretty decent value banner in terms of all three characters. They know exactly what they want to be. Grimjow is going to be your Lynx of Farmer. Nelio is a much needed support in the ranged Captain Gilquist. And then Yasuru is a Jobler Farmer that has been surprisingly useful in Limit Breaker. Now the banner itself does feature only seasonal characters. Ultimately it comes down to you whether you see the value in this banner, but I honestly don't mind what we have actually here to work with, right? Of course, as we mentioned, you have the three new characters. Alongside that, you have Jushro. He's a plus 10 Lynx of Farmer. Ryuka, plus 10 Lynx of Farmer. Okura, really good in the Ranger Spider Guild Quest. Likewise, Aizen is really good in the Melia Sparta Guild Quest. And then by far the two least valuable fillers here is Ichigo and also Gin. Maybe you don't have them, so maybe they will be some value to you as a new character. I would say the top row, including Aizen, is definitely a good selection of fillers here. Me, personally, I wouldn't go too deep on a banner like this. My priority, as always, is really good characters, but also Thousand Year Blood War characters. So that's the only banners that really see my orbs outside of the discounted steps. That's usually what I recommend, but as always, the best way to play this game and the best way to summon for characters is to pull for your favorite characters. And if you can see the value, likewise, if you like the characters, then this banner is maybe worth summoning. I wouldn't recommend going too deep on the banner. It is just a normal banner, nothing special. Step 1, 6, 11, 16, and 21 are discounted. Step 2, 7, 12, 17, and 22 are also discounted. And then every fifth step does guarantee you a featured character, which includes one of these nine characters, right? But if we are to have a closer look at the characters, first up, let's have a look at Nelio, right? Nelio is probably one of the better characters in the game, given that she's basically the only ranged captain killer that has a team boost, right? When I made my video beating the ranged captain gear quest only using special move level 1 characters, there was really simply only like 3 or 4 characters that you could use here, and even with that it was very tough and might require some work done links, but what makes that quest so trivial is just having Nelio, right? As a ranged captain Nat character she's doing consistent damage, and she herself does have a good damage output. Flurry plus 1 with a 50% bruiser, a team boost SA2 with the booster skill, and she's also providing your team with some good protection multi-barrier, so plus 5 barrier for yourself, plus 3 barrier for your teammates, but most importantly, she also does have the gauge with gauge rampage, so at least from my testing with this character, she was able to get the gauge of multiple times in a quest, at least twice, maybe three times if you're clearing somewhat slower, but when the gauge is actually active, she then gets an additional flurry plus 1, in this case, flurry plus 2. Now, to be fair, compared to some of the newer Nad characters that we have been getting for guild quests, this isn't as impressive anymore, because we're seeing characters naturally have flurry plus 2 in guild quest, her flurry plus 2 is tied behind having the gauge, but either way, she's still got a good damage output, and she is still right now the best character to use for the ranged captain guild quest as your team booster, and of which is a very solid nad character. I don't own her, and I'm not even sure I'm gonna do two steps in this banner, because right now again, I'm saving for Thousand Year Blood War, but she's definitely a character I want to pick up sometime in 2024, because I know she's the character I will definitely use, and I'm not sure how long it will take for Kaya to technically replace her. I assume it would be quite some time. So she definitely has value as your team booster in the range captain gear quest. Outside of gear quest, you definitely can use her. She has good protection, good damage output, and she's pretty fun, again, given that she does have the gauge rampage effect. It's Nelio, that might be the selling point itself, but definitely more so a gear quest centered character. Going into our second character, we have Grimjow. He's a very simple character to look at. He's basically just a Lynx of Farmer. By using this character in Inheritance Zone or in Epic Raids, you are getting 10 additional Heart Lynx or Potions. If you want to farm Lynx or Potions with Grimjow, this character is 
is of course good to have, but of course he also does have the value being that Lynx of Farmer. As of right now, the only plus to Lynx of Farmer, 40 Mind Attribute. Now, of course, because you want to use him to farm Lynx of Potions, his damage output is very important, and the character itself does have quite the good damage output, especially considering that he is a mid-month seasonal character. With Frenzy plus one, a 35% Berserker, and also when you do inflict the Stasm, which he has an increased chance to do so, you get an 80% stat boost to your Spiritual Pressure stat. Alongside that, once you do inflict the Stasm, you would then do 80% more damage to those drained enemies. Since he has drained, he's able to and since he has drained, he's able to easily stay at full stamina, making him overall just a very good Lynx of Farmer. His kit is definitely weird, I will say. It's very unique in the sense that all three strong attacks are like vortex attacks. His SA3 being very unique, considering that he's the only character with it as an SA3, which is a vacuum vortex around him, sucking everyone in, and then pushing them out. It might not be the best strong attack kit, but considering that he only wants to really be used in Inheritance Zone and Epic Raids, he overall makes for a very good character with a good damage output, but most importantly valuable, considering that he is a plus 10 Lynx or Farmer. Yastru is definitely the least exciting of the three, but she essentially is just a Droplet Farmer. By using her, you're getting plus 10 Mind Droplets, guaranteed by the way, and then you're also increasing the Mind Droplet drop rate by 50%. So if you are in need of Mind Droplets, this character is great to have. But what's also good about Yastru is that she does have some other good skills, to back her up to, she has Frenzy plus 2, a 60% Berserker. Her SA2 is a barrier, so her damage output is actually good. She has good protection. She can heal your team by 20%, and she also buffs your heart character's strong attack damage by 20%, and also recovers their recharge by 20% in between stages. She's basically a worse version of Kyoge. And as a mid-month character, that's not really that bad. I recently used it in the current Limit Breaker quest, and she was very solid in her performance. Unfortunately, her killer does bring her down, and that makes it so it's kind of hard to use her. But she's honestly not a bad character. There's a lot of uses you can get of her, even as just a team booster. Healing you, boosting your damage by 20%, and even recovering your strong attacks in between stages. While at the same time, again, being a good droplet farmer. So yeah, I would say the Christmas characters definitely still age relatively well. They're definitely good characters to have. I don't think any of them are entirely needed. Even Nellie L, who is good in the Captain Gill quest, if you can already beat it, technically you don't need her, right? But if you are fans of the characters, as I already described, that's where you're going to get the usage out of those three particular characters. Now, moving on to the fillers real quick. Again, as already briefly touched upon, Jushiro is a plus 10 Lynx of Farmer. But what's great about Jushiro is that he does have some really good team buffs. He's boosting Technique Stripers, Strong Attack Damage by 20%, and also to their damage to status afflicted enemies by 40%. This makes him a really good team booster for any technique striper that you might potentially use, especially in Girl Quest content. If you're using characters like Ichibe and also Safri Toshiro or any potential future technique striper, this Jushiro is going to be their best partner buffing their damage by a pretty large margin. Whenever I can fit him onto a team, I'm definitely going to do that, and I've already gotten the value from him as he is a plus 10 Lynx of Farmer. Ruruka, again, plus 10 Lynx of Farmer. Really good in Epic Raids, since he does have a great team heal on her SA3, which also doubles down as a charge attack, so itself can do a lot of damage. While her SA1 and 2 isn't really the greatest, unless Epic Raids has 72 million HP, which unfortunately it does have right now, she's always a very viable character to use to farm Lynx of Potions, especially in Epic Raids. Okura is one of those few rare Nads characters that is actually really good even outside of Guild Quest content. But speaking strictly of Guild Quest content, he's really good in this quest, given that he is one of the also few Nads characters that can be used as a main. Now, when it comes to the Guild Quest meta, SP characters are usually your main playable characters. The Nads characters, normal attack damage characters, are best served as side characters to do auto damage. In Okura's case, given that he does have a good damage output with his high bruiser, flare plus one, and most importantly, when you do inflict the stat as a man, you get an 80% stat boost to your attack stat. That makes him really good, but also his soul bomb is a debuff attack. So when you do decide to use your soul bomb, it's lowering the enemy's defense by 80%, making sure that you're going to kill any wave super fast. Remember, it also does reapply a stat element, so you do get the 80% attack boost. So if you do own this character, you can definitely use him in or outside of guild quests. And you can also use him as a main or a side, which makes him one of the few characters where you can actually do that. The other character, of course, being Thousand Yibado Aizen. But I would say in terms of a main, he does show more promising features. A very similar character is Party Time Aizen, but he strictly wants to be used as a side character in Guild Quest. The melee Espada Guild Quest does lack options. And as far as melee Nad characters do go, Aizen is the best. I assume he might get replaced eventually. But right now, he's basically the best you got. And he does make beating the melee Espada Guild Quest a lot easier. 
easier, especially if you can get duplicates of this character. I personally use it myself. He's really good to have. And then again, the other two characters, Ichigo is just kind of there. Okay, damage output, lackluster strong attack here. He can clear content, but he does clear it very, very slow. And then Gin, again, once more, kind of just there. Not the best strong attack here, not the best damage output. Is a seasonal, so he is somewhat potentially rare. But if you have him, not really much of a use out of him. So yeah, personally, I don't mind the Philippal. I like the value that this banner does bring. Ultimately, it comes down to you if you also see the same. For me personally, I definitely will be skipping this banner. But at least on my alt account, I will be doing a few steps. At least going to step two, the two discounted steps. My second account did try to go for Nelio, Grimja, and Yachiru when the banner first came around. And unfortunately, I wasn't able to get Nelio. Was lucky enough to get Grimja and Yachiru. But I definitely will be doing once more two steps to try and get my hands on Nelio. Because I do like the character. And I also like what value she does bring at least when it comes to the Captain Guild Quest. My second account in particular does care about Guild Quest scores, so Nelia will be a great character to have. If you don't care about the characters, if you don't care about the value they bring to your account, then this is pretty much a very easy skip. And once more, you should continue to save for the upcoming end of month banners. For the most part, it looks like Thousand Year Blood War is going to be a very regular occurrence, as our two most recent end of month banners was Thousand Year Blood War. But as you can see with the character selection, they didn't do any big heavy hitting names. They can only do so much filler Thousand Year Blood War banners, if that makes sense, until we start getting to the bigger names, again like Bankai Shinji, Sajin, Bambietta's Volstanig, the other Bambis, Kimpachi, Gremi, Esnot, Byakuya, Ruki, etc. And if you are fans of any of those characters, as always, I recommend continue saving your orbs. Either way, let me know if you do decide to pull on this banner. If you are, good luck. I'll see you guys next time. Take care and peace.